All right, we are in the RP Funding Theater. We have got our studio audience that is all ready to make a lot of noise right now. Studio audience goes on crazy. On the show Friday. And uh, we've been talking about this for a little bit. Gavin, Chris, Corey, and Robin uh, just did some sound check action, going to be uh, stepping up there. And uh, if you're not viewing this right now, if you're listening to the radio and you want to view it, you can check out WJRR.com. And, fellas, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. To the RP Funding Theater here, and uh, we've uh, we've had a few uh, bands through here, but I gotta say there hasn't been uh, the excitement level is always good, but I think we're at a different tier of excitement level right now, <laughs> as far as having the Bush in well, well, the studio. As long as you don't get mad at us, because we will not get mad. Take us out. <laughs> so as a non-radio jog, you have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you guys. Uh, thanks for all the music over the years here. For and sure. uh, we know that you're on 60 dates in 60 days. Something like that. Something like that. Is that uh, Today's is the first uh, uh, five shows in four days. So that's cool, I think, is it? Yeah. Yeah. And you guys are giving away free tickets left and right oh, on we're the giving Twitter. Away everything. That's we're awesome. Free. <laughs> Did you already give away tickets for the Orlando show yet? Um, that is not my department. I don't oh, know. Right. But I'm sure. I'm sure we, yes, Laura's department, yeah. So somebody already got some tickets? That's awesome. What a really cool idea. <laughs> no, it is. Thank you. There, no, no bands are doing that no, right no, now. No. Cool. It's okay. usually up to us to give people free tickets. <laughs> we like people to come, you know, and we like to see old friends and make new friends. We so. guess uh, you, you played in Orlando like a while back is the, the, the last time we saw you here. And, uh, you know, people have been talking about the fact that you're going to be coming in here first. Not a lot of people do this to come in, in a small studio like this, so... Cool. It's kind of a treat to everybody. I'm kind of glad that, because some of the shots are like, that's a bit better. Some of the shots were the, uh, those bubbles on people's heads, the at t bubbles. It's like a weird <laughs> yeah. hat. Right, right. So I really have to be spared that look. <laughs> no offense to at t I use them. <laughs> we know you guys are going to play some music. What are you going to start off with today? Um, this is a song called Little Things.
Bush, WKRR.com, the RP Funding Theater. And, uh, you know, when you said you were going to play that song, I just remember the first time we heard that song on the radio and how powerful it was. And then when you just said you were going to play that song, kind of gave her, I, you guys get the little chills. goosebumps and yeah, the chills sure. and stuff like to hear acoustically. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what's, what's the meaning behind that song? Is there, a, is there a, anything you'd like to let us know that? about that song there. I know that it's been written a, a while well, back. Uh, you know, lyrics, they're, they're, they're pliable, you know, they move around. So although I wrote it some time ago, it still holds true for me personally. Just, if little things are killed, just the, the, the way that, that how every day Details. Like the, forces, <laughs> the forces try and pull you down and then you, you try and beat them each day and that's life, you know. So. Gotcha. I got you. I, 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 were you. Are you guys comfortable in here now? You. You got that feeling kind loose. of uh, feeling loose. <laughs> um, you got the headlining tour. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, by the way, if you're just joining us, we're at WJRI.com. Uh, Bush is in the RP Funding uh, Studio here. And live on the airwaves, don't forget. Little things. And we're on the FM, too. So we got a couple different things going on here. But uh, headlining tour. Multitasking. I like yeah. it. <laughs> so you guys are out, obviously, now with uh, see either My Darkest Days, Nickelback, and then... Y'all are taking it back overseas, going to mm-hmm. be visiting over in uh, Germany, I think you kick it off in August. Yeah, I mean, it's all Europe. And then Europe. Um, back to the UK, yeah? That's included, yeah. Is France, there... Italy, uh, Portugal, um, Belgium, Holland. And I saw on, I, I think on Twitter that uh, you guys are going back to Italy for the first time in a very long time or the first time that you've... In a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In a while. That's cool. So is there anything about the UK that, I mean, now obviously you live in Hollyweird and whatnot, but uh, <laughs> is there anything about the UK that you really, really miss that you, uh, you know, maybe when you're living out in California and whatnot, um, that you miss people, food? Uh, um, well, my friends and my family and all the pubs. Pubs, yeah. Well, it's just that sort of different lifestyle thing, you know, walking around in LA, it's too much planning and, you know, stuff like that. You got to, it's like a big journey, but... Uh, so, like, New York is like London in that way, right. I love, where you can walk around a city, you know, mm-hmm. feel sure. it under your feet. Well, I know, you know, you've made some comments about the paparazzi and how much they get under your skin and stuff like that. What's that like living in that world with Gwen and your boys and stuff like that? It's just got to be crazy. Uh, normal, you know yeah. what I mean? This is what it is. I don't complain about it. I don't complain that much, do I? No, no, not complain, yeah. but I've heard you made some comments just about how the paparazzi are always on your tail, and you just you try to live a normal life with your kids. You know, you guys seem like you're like kind of normal people. Right. We, yeah, we try to be normal. Right. As much as possible with your with your little ones, right? Yeah, 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 of course, you know. So it's a bit of a it's supply and demand is what I always say about it. Until people stop buying those magazines, they're going to be there. So That's true. I see them every day. They're okay, those guys. Yeah. They're just trying to, they're just trying to get ahead, trying to make right. a break, trying to, trying to, make, trying to make a dollar, living, right? Trying to make a living, you know. Well, we had uh, Tom Petty was in the Amway Center last night, and he had kind of a, a homecoming. You know, he came back to Florida to play some music. So, do you when you go back to, you know, the UK? Do you have uh, is it uh, one of those things where you get greeted in, in the streets, or how is it when you visit back home? Is it you? Is it a little bit more normal? You don't have to have the following uh, the paparazzi around you. Is it? Oh no, they know where we live there too. So they're 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 actually more hostile. They're, <laughs> really? They are. I'm serious. They're more hostile in London than they are in LA. Um, but it's be, whenever we go and play in, in England, it's great for us, you know, especially for me and Robin, you know, English. So we, it's great for us to go and play there. And um, as far as tonight in the Amway Center, you, the bands that you're traveling with right now, you guys aren't actually aren't traveling with them per se. But have you worked with a lot of these bands uh, before? No, sir. We just met them. All real nice people, real good energy, easy vibe backstage. So it's just people just playing music. It's cool. Any wild, any wild nights yet? Oh, every night, especially <laughs> tonight. Tonight's gonna be the wildest. I know. Well, that's it. good. I can feel it. So you guys hit the stage at 7:45. It all starts at six. My darkest day is gonna be kicking off the party at the Amway Center. Then uh, Seether 6:35, and of course Nickelback is going to be closing out the night at nine o'clock. And uh, hopefully a lot of you guys already have tickets. If you don't, Ticketmaster.com is where to get those. You guys got another song for us? I'm chomping at the bit. Mind strong, body strong. Try to find equilibrium Head straight 
screwed on, was screwed up for too long. Don't want to lean on the waves. I watch the storm evaporate. I think of you, star skies. I keep you so alive. Let's walk through the fire together. Lips, open arms, fingertips, love bites and recompense. I'll be with you until the end. Let's walk through the fire together. Disappear in the golden sands. It's all in your face. I see you break. It's like the sound of winter. WJRR.com and the RP Funding Theater. And you know, it was the first single we heard on the radio. And I, I was just wanting to know, like, you took the break, and the first time that you played that song in front of a big audience, was it a great feeling? Because you, you know that you're still relevant and uh, you're still playing music for a living. And, you know, after taking that break, did you have that kind of, are they going to like this type of feeling uh, as, as an artist? Do, do you worry about that? Or you just, do Daily. you feel it? Daily. Yeah. Every day you worry about that. That's what the job is, you know, like um, you're as good as your last show, you're as good as your last song, you're as good as, as how we're going to play tonight. So it's a, it's a knife edge. We can't dial it in, phone it in or anything. So, but I, like, I think we all like that. That's why we like this life that we just, um, everything's a challenge, you know what I mean? This is never about, you, you can't fake it, else you go down. <laughs> 
Well, as far as the, the record goes, Sea of Memories, were, were those um, songs, the songs that we're starting to hear now, Baby Come Home and uh, Sound of Winter, were those kind of in the hopper for a, a while, or did you guys kind of just collaborate and kind of knock them all out at once, or were they thoughts? No, they or? were quick, and those, those last few were like literally two months before the record came out. So Really? So the whole record was like a, a, maybe a year to get together. So another, nothing, nothing uh, was from the vaults. Nothing kind of like little thoughts and ideas jotted down over the years? No. I still I have a, I have a, a paranoid folder of, of <laughs> ideas in case things run out. But right. While ideas <laughs> come, I haven't touched it yet. Pull the ripcord in case. It's, like, it's yeah. like a cake I don't want to share yet. Well, hardcore fans are uh, really feeling the Into the Blue song that's on the Avengers soundtrack. Uh, um, are you guys, how did you get involved with, with that? Did they approach you on it? Did you have to do something specially for it or? It just came through management, really, to be honest. Um, and they you know, rang us up and said, you know, there's this movie. Because it used to be such a big deal, get connected with a movie. And nowadays, movies, like, they come and go as fast as the records do, you know. So sure. you never know which horse to back, which one to be with. And they were like, uh, but this film has Scarlett Johansson and Downey Jr. in it. So mm-hmm. we're like, yep. Okay. Do that one. <laughs> we're we'll, on board. We'll, we'll back then. We'll this is a that. good one. And it's been massive. I mean, yeah. I think we're sort of part of the... Because we're in the middle of stuff, so I think ours, they promote our single with a DVD release in September or August, September or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know well, a lot of people are talking about the soundtrack. I mean, you guys yeah, are in great company. Yeah, I was confused. Company. I was like, why, how does that, why, is, why is that out already? And I was like moaning about it, and I got told it's, and it came out in the soundtrack. Calm down. It's not the time yet. It's just kind of like, just for the hardcore fans to find out about. And then it's a, everything's such a slow gr- um, sort of... Uh, thrust to get to for people to know it, you know. Yeah, we've been looking at trailers for like three, four months now for that movie. I, yeah, you know, like for example, p- people still buying the Adele record like it's brand new, you know. So yeah. it just shows you that even when you have the most massive reach, it's still people are slow to kind of catch on. And you think we've we've all kind of been oversaturated by it, and somebody's just discovering it for the first yeah, time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, same thing with Sixteen Stone. I'm sure you know people are constantly still discovering it. Still discovering it. <laughs> wow, this new Bush band is pretty good. Kids, you know what I mean? That'd be an achievement. You guys, while we're talking about the movie, do you, you, you follow comics? Did you, did you get into comics? Do you have any heroes that you, and, uh, as far as the, uh, in the movie? Do you, you get into that when you're younger? Comics? No, I don't magazines. Adult magazines? Adult magazines. <laughs> All right. <laughs> kind of, you're kind of superheroes, too, actually. Sometimes, right now too, you know? sometimes we give Robin a mic, and sometimes we don't. <laughs> All right, well... Uh, <laughs> You guys uh, ready for me- more music here? We are. Uh, by the way, for those of you who missed out, you want to get in on this action, make sure you check out WJR.com so you can be on the inside of the RP Funding Theater. But it's a joy listening to you guys, man. What, what are you playing for us next? Breaking out the heavy artillery. Life will 
That was a nice curveball right there. Man. Wow. That is goosebumps. Studio audience say yeah. yeah. Live in the RP Funding Theater, Bush. That was, uh, we were not expecting that. Thank you very much for Bush that, acoustic. by the way. Yeah. You like it when we play acoustic? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that acoustic, that's a little quiet acoustic set is uh, quite nice. Do you guys break that out uh, on the big stages throughout the tour? We haven't done that. No? no should, that's right? a special treat. Yeah. Special yeah. treat. That being said, we were uh, we were talking about this this morning. We we were you know went to a show last night. We went to the show tonight. I wish I'd gone last night. I wish I'd known. I'd love to seen Tom Petty. Yeah. What did you do with your extra time? By the way, I saw on Twitter that uh, you said you had a couple extra hours yesterday. Did you get to do a little walkabout at all in Orlando? Good, and just where we were. But I definitely would love to have seen Tom Petty. Yeah. I love that guy. So. He was great. We were saying yeah. I'd love to have a, a, a beer in about fifteen minutes with Tom Petty. Have a little conversation to see you know to pick his brain a little bit. Do you have? Uh, any of you have uh, that one person you say, you know, I wish I, had, I could step up to the pub, the bar, and have a conversation and a beer with this person in particular. Do you have one of those people you have in mind uh, off the bat? Only dead people. Well, dead people, dead, dead dead people, people count. count. They count. You yeah. can go with the dead person. That's fine. Dead people and sex magazines. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's your band, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> We're more interesting than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Today, anyway. Today, anyway, yeah. That's so cool. Um, um, brilliant. <laughs> I want to, uh, I try to work out if I should tell this story really quickly. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, you, you guys ever have that, that nitrous oxide when you go to the dentist? Oh, it makes you no. super wasted. I didn't yeah. realize about that. Yeah. I had a dentist who I don't have anymore, right, just for the record. <laughs> And he wants, um, he, gave, he said to me, I was having, he said, you should try this. I was having it, and I started to get really worried in there because I started to feel all, like way too wrong, like I was at a party, and it was just like the, the nurse there, and the, I was like really awkward. And halfway through, he goes, um, 
oh no, she's got to change the tank, change the, change the nitrous oxide tank. Uh, and I was like, whoa, I haven't done a whole tank of it. He goes, <laughs> he goes no, no, don't worry about it. Um, uh, Tom Petty's down the hallway getting his teeth cleaned. The only way he'll have his teeth cleaned is if he has the nitrous, right? So I was like, wow, he's even cooler than I realized. And uh, <laughs> so later on when I was finishing up, I said to him, um, I said to the dentist, I was like, so, uh, so how's Tom doing? He goes, hey, I wanted to see him. Everything's cool. He's real good. But you know, they play that music in, in the dentist uh, waiting rooms. He goes, yeah, my teeth feel real good and clean, but sting is killing me. Uh, <laughs> man, we've got... Uh, <laughs> we pretty much hit all the bases here on this uh, on this deal. Now, thank you for the. Uh, that was just a. It was amazing. We didn't think you were gonna pull that out as far as the Pink Floyd there. Uh, we, I, the we, first few chords there, I'm like, is this really yeah. happening? Really? That was awesome. Is that something you just? Uh, did you say for the acoustic stuff, or is? We just we we're doing it a bit recently, and we just kind of enjoy playing it. It's weird because on this tour, we don't really get to have any sound checks or play outside of the actual shows. So we didn't have time to prepare anything, so. So this little shush set is a good little warm up for tonight. Then is what you're saying. No, no, I mean, like, we would do more different songs. <laughs> well, I didn't mean that. I mean, well, you asked, I said no. <laughs> I mean, in the nicest Sorry. way. In the no, I get it. Way. It's fine. Most respectful way. <laughs> I'm English. I'm hard to understand. <laughs> but, now, so is there anything okay. kooky that you guys, uh, you know, do on the road or you have on your riders that... You know, the deep, dark fans that are hardcore Bush people would, would find interesting to know. Maybe something uh, off the beaten path that you have to have before you go on stage or that you have to have on the road with you. Oh, they're pointing at somebody. Corey. Corey. Uh, Point at you, Corey. What do you need, Corey? Come on, He just on, turned Corey. about as red as his bass guitar. <laughs> so sometimes you call it red. <laughs> it's, it's, hey. I've been having trouble with it. <laughs> it's fluorescent-ish. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Coral's in right now. Yeah. You did a really good job changing the subject, by the way. The sam the salmon. He says he needs salmon back there. Yeah, right? how do we right, get to I was lost. I didn't understand anyone's accent at that point. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? We've got uh, Bush in the RP, uh, RP funding theater here. Refusing and, to answer questions. It, it, we're, we're getting curveball after curveball and having fun at it, all right, at WJR.com. Before, before, before they start the next uh, song, I just have to ask. We got this on Facebook, actually, today. Can you please reveal, between you and Gwen, the location of the Fountain of Youth? Because y'all two don't age, really. Oh, uh, I was just thinking about how I wanted to let you know that I do like Sting, and I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> just because Tom doesn't. Just for the record. All just because right. Tom doesn't. You guys, I got okay. that on camera. He like, does like Sting. It's I no do big like deal. Him. He's All amazing. Right? We don't need that in the, in the, in the rags or anything. <laughs> we, yeah, we follow him because he's amazing. <laughs> what are you guys going to do for us next? Um, oh, we're going to play this. You ready, everyone? We like it when people sing along to this, if you know this track. You're really welcome. Ready? Good. Come on. Two, three, and. Cause I don't wanna come back down from this cloud. Yeah. It's taken me all this time find out what I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I don't wanna come back down from this cloud. It's taken me all this, all this time. Love and hate, get it wrong. She cut me right back down the sides, sleep the day, just let it fade, who was there to take your place, no one knows, never will, mostly me, mostly you, what do you say, do you do, when it all comes down, cause I don't want to come back down from this cloud. It's taken me all this time Find out what I need Yeah, yeah, yeah Cause I don't wanna come back down From this cloud It's taken me all this time 
at WJRR.com and live on the radio, 1011 WJRR, the RP Funding Theater. And uh, I think that goes without saying that this has been an awesome, very memorable, special uh, time here. Thank you very much for all the music. And uh, we, we wish you all the success on the headlining tour and uh, getting through the 60 days. Uh, I know that's kind of uh, endurance test, but thank you very much, guys. And uh, you guys, a round us. of applause for Bush here. Thank you. Back to Miss Mel Taylor, rocking out on the air. On a shoving Friday.